Mass readings on the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord, 8th of January, 2024. A reading is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen one, with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit, he shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you from the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I form you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations. To open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. Or, in Isaiah, Thus says the Lord, All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain, and eat. Come, without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread? Your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich affair. Come to me heedfully. Listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. As I made him to witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations, so shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you, because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way, and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God, who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. Or in Acts of the Apostle, Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fear, fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites, and he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea 
beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all the oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Or in First John, Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believed that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. So there are three that testify, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now, the testimony of God is this, that he has testified on behalf of his Son. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song, let your response be. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord your sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in his holy attire. Response. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty, the, word, the voice of the Lord is majestic. Response The Lord will bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders, and in his temple all say, Glory! The Lord is a throne above the flood. The Lord is a throne as king forever. Response The Lord will bless his people with peace. Or in Isaiah, God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength in my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. With joy, you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Response. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Acclaim his name. Among the nations, make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Response You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Response 
you will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Alleluia, Alleluia. John saw Jesus approaching him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Alleluia, Alleluia. Our Gospel reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. This is what John the Baptist proclaimed. One mighty year than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.